Taiwan's ruling party has won a crucial presidential election that it billed as a choice between democracy and authoritarianism. It's a setback for China, which had warned voters on the self-ruled island against re-electing the DPP, a party it views as dangerous separatists. Election night in Taipei, and for the winning side, an outpouring of elation. A victory party, a projection too, about how they see themselves and their nation. It was in the end a comfortable victory for this man, Lai ching -te. His promise, a tough approach towards China. It was a pitch that resonated here with a people who are proud of their politics. Their message, a clear one, that they wanted their neighbour to hear. The message is um, our democracy is winning again. So um, that, I think that's the message we want to send to the whole world and send to China. We are a country and we are Taiwan, yes. Democracy is everything to us. It cannot be taken away by a pro-communist regime. We are the masters of our own country. This is crucial. China sees these people as Chinese, this island, as a breakaway province. The result, a clear sign they do not agree. This is the first time in the history of Taiwan's democracy that a single party has won a third term in office. And it's happened to this party, the one that has consistently taken the strongest stance on China. It says something interesting about the people here and the way they feel about their democracy. But Lai will be a provoking choice with his history of pro-independence statements. He knows Taiwan is in a precarious position. Just listen to his pitch to international friends. We are telling the international community that between democracy and authoritarianism, we will stand on the side of democracy. Taiwan will continue to walk side by side with democracies from around the world. For the losing party, the empty seats said it all. The opposition KMT had wanted to talk more to China. A vision, for now, sent packing. I regret that I could not complete the political reshuffle. I let everyone down. I am here to express my sincerest apologies. I'm sorry. And there was heartbreak too for the many young people who voted for the new third party. Their focus on domestic themes may well have split the vote and helped Lai ching -te to victory. It's unclear how China will respond. For now, a short state TV message. Reunification is inevitable, he says. Multiple efforts from military threats to online meddling were used to influence people here. It doesn't seem to have worked. Taiwan's democracy is flourishing, defending it, a clear and consistent motivation. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Taipei.